How's it going, folks? This is Mike, and I'm back for uh, episode two of my Halloween horror film countdown. Okay, so let's see if I can do several of these before Halloween. So tonight's movie is a very obscure little item. Now, I'd be surprised if a lot of you even heard of this. It's called Grave of the Vampire. Grave of the Vampire from 1972. It's in color. And uh, it stars William Smith and Michael Pataki. I don't know much about Michael Pataki. I've heard that name, but I have no idea who he is really. But William Smith, William Smith was a very, very prolific and very uh, popular kind of an action hero type. Wasn't always playing a hero, but he was an action movie type in the late 60s and all through the 70s. Uh, did a lot of biker films and a lot of uh, westerns. Did, did a western series on TV called Streets of Laredo. And uh, really kind of a cool guy to, to watch in the movies. Not a bad actor either. So <laughs> this is directed by someone named John Hayes. Never heard of him. Uh, don't know any of the other actors or actresses in here. So I'm not even going to give out their names because I've never. I've, they don't ring a bell at all. People like uh, Diane Holden, Jay Scott, Eric Mason. You know, I don't know who these people are. But I don't even know what studio this is made by. But the disc is put out by Alpha Video, um, which you can buy from oldies.com. They're very cheap. And as my friend Dave Caney will, will agree, most of these are um, transferred so badly that you can't really see that much of the movie. The, you know, a lot of uh, uh, screen uh, scars and stuff like that and, and uh, distortion. And, but this is actually not that bad, maybe because it's a fairly fairly recent film. I mean, 1972 is not that long ago. You get some of these older things back in the 1920s and 30s, and you can't hardly see them. This is okay. Um, it's not that great of a film. I would say that if you want to add this to your vampire uh, legend collection, you might want to see it once just to say you've seen it. A lot of people might really like this. It, it has um, a lot of violence. Well, of course, American films at that time, beginning in the late 60s and progressing all through the 70s, were getting more and more violent all the time. Uh, there's, there's a lot of blood being sprayed around here, so that's not as bad as it could be. So what is the plot? You want to know, right? I know you're dying to know what the plot is. Okay, it starts out back in the 1940s, and this young guy and young girl are going out on a date, and they decide to go to their favorite makeout spot, which happens to be the local cemetery, right? So they, they're parked in the cemetery and they're in the back of the car and they're getting close. And unbeknownst to them, in a huge coffin sitting out in the middle of the cemetery with fog rolling all around it, there's a vampire about to come back to life. So uh, the, the resurrection scene of the vampire is actually kind of cool. I mean, he, the, the lid slowly comes off and then you see this withered body and there's a big tarantula crawling across his arm. I hate tarantulas. And so he, he comes out gets thirsty, and he uh, attacks this young couple. He kills the guy, drinks his blood, and the young woman, unfortunately, he um, drags her down to an open grave, and he assaults her sexually, and then he runs off, right? So the, the, the girl is taken to a hospital, and she's, well, she, she, she lives, but she's impregnated by this vampire, unfortunately, and uh, she's she's not thinking clearly. She's kind of out of her mind with what's happened to her. Very understandable. And the doctors tell her that there's something very wrong with her kid, and she may want to um, end the pregnancy, but she decides to go ahead and have it. So she goes off with um, the woman who is in the same hospital room with her. They become very close friends right away. The woman says, I'll take care of you. So she gives birth to the child in this woman's home, and when the baby comes out, it has this gray pallor to it. It doesn't look very healthy. And the woman who delivered the baby is saying, I have some, we need to call a doctor. There's something wrong with the kid. But the mother says, no, no, I, he'll be fine. Well, so anyway, she tries to feed the kid milk. He won't drink milk. She discovers that he will drink blood. So that starts the whole life cycle of this vampire and his mother. So she raises this kid who grows up to be William Smith, you know, this big, handsome, strapping guy who doesn't look at all like he's uh, either half dead or undead or whatever he's supposed to be. 
So his mother dies. He goes off in search of his father because he wants to destroy him. Finds out that this, this uh, vampire daddy who has been around since something like the 19th century, I think that's what it said. Um, he's been traveling all around the world, assuming different identities and different names, you know, different occupations and uh, searching for fresh blood. Well, so he finally tracks him down of all places at a community college, I think it's in California, teaching a class, an, a night class, of course, on uh, folklore. So vampire kid, whose name is James uh, Eastman, something, yeah, something like that, signs up for the guy's class and spends the next 80 minutes or so, because it's only like a 90 minute film, but he spends the next 80 mi minutes or so, um, I guess just trying to think of a way to kill his father. And of course, other people get involved. A lot of women are attracted to the vampire. Of course, he, he unfortunately, he brings them to an uh, <clears throat> unfortunate demise. And it all gets very dramatic and very crazy until finally, uh, William Smith has a chance to confront his father and destroy him. And I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. Uh, well, whether you want to see this, I guess you're kind of on your own. I'm not gonna give this a big recommendation. But uh, it has been on my shelf for a couple of years now, and I thought, what the hell? I might as well, I might as well watch it. So I guess you can't always do a positive recommendation video about something you watch. In this case, I'm just going to say, if you have a chance to see this, these these Alpha Video um, uh, DVDs are very very cheap, and they're not they're not difficult to find, and they usually as cheap as they are, they usually run $5.95. Normally, when they, they go on sale sometimes for $3.95 or something like that. So if you want to scope, scope this out and just make your own decision, can't really say that it's worth $3.95, but that's what I paid. So anyway, Grave of the Vampire. So you can add it to your, your uh, William Smith DVD collection. And I will see you tomorrow.